Ever wondered why silence is termed golden? Ask Yule Docia, and he might have a tale or two. This Nollywood actor's public persona is as dramatic as the movies he stars in, and his inability to keep quiet is a major part of it. It's almost as if Yule has taken the phrase, freedom of speech a bit too literally, voicing his opinions on just about everything, whether solicited or not. This penchant for speaking his mind, unfortunately, often lands him in hot water. Instead of thinking before he speaks, Yule often finds himself backpedaling, trying to do damage control. His words, more often than not, stir up controversies that could easily have been avoided. From announcing his polygamous lifestyle, to introducing his girlfriend as his second wife, Yule's loose tongue has cost him respect, and possibly opportunities within the industry. But it's not just about his personal life. Yule's failure to hold his tongue has led to a lot of misinformation and confusion. Remember when he led people to believe he was in love with Judy? When in fact, in court, he claimed they were just skit makers. His words and actions often don't align, leaving fans and spectators puzzled and disappointed. And it's not just that. He and Judy went to great lengths to discredit May, hiring bloggers to spread false rumors about her. Yet, when his secret marriage affair was exposed, Yule was quick to apologize to May, an apology that would not have come to light if he had simply held his tongue. So why is Yule's inability to keep quiet such a big deal? Because it has consequences. It has led to a web of controversies, misunderstandings, and a tarnished reputation. It's a tactical misstep that has cost him dearly and continues to do so. It's a lesson to us all. Sometimes it's better to stay silent. But why is Yule's inability to stay silent such a big deal? Let's dive into the controversies. From bold admissions to scandalous revelations, Yule Edochi's public life has been a roller coaster ride. A ride that's seen the Nollywood star stumble from one controversy to the next, each time fueled by his own inability to simply keep quiet. It all started when Yule, in a dramatic fashion fit for the silver screen, introduced his girlfriend as his second wife. A bold claim that was quickly followed by his proud declaration of being a polygamist. While not the first man to stray from monogamy, Yule's audacious admission was a first. It was as if he felt the need to be awarded a Medal of Honor for committing adultery, a clear demonstration of his inflated self-image. This, needless to say, did not go down well with many, and was the first of many times his inability to keep quiet would land him in hot water. The controversy only deepened when he led people to believe he was deeply in love with Judy. He painted a picture of a happy, loving life only to contradict himself in court, claiming they were merely skit makers. This discrepancy between his public statements and his court testimony only sowed more seeds of doubt and mistrust. And then there was the scandal involving May. Yule and Judy went to great lengths to tarnish May's reputation, hiring bloggers such as Cheese Genie Blog, Sarah Martins, and Blessing CEO to spread false rumors about her. They wanted the world to believe that May was the reason Yule had to seek peace and love in Judy. But once again, his inability to remain silent came back to haunt him. When Gist Lover Blog exposed Yule's secret marital affair, Yule sent a text message to May, apologizing for his actions. An apology that, had he kept quiet, would not have surfaced on the internet. Through all this, one question persists. Who is Yule really in love with? Is it May, the woman he publicly humiliated and privately apologized to? Or is it Judy, the woman he's making skits and children with while claiming they're nothing more than professional partners in court? Or could it be that he's in love with both women caught in a complicated web of his own making? To add another layer to this convoluted saga, what would happen if another man treated Yule's beloved daughter, Daniela, the same way he's treating May? Would he reflect on his actions then, or would he continue to speak without thinking, causing more damage along the way? These questions, and many more, continue to hover around Yule Docie, casting a long shadow over his career and personal life. His inability to keep quiet has not only cost him opportunities and respect in the industry, but it's also led to a series of scandals that continue to plague him. And just when we thought the dust had settled, a text message apology to May emerges. The question now is, who is Yule really in love with? In the midst of the scandals, a pressing question arises. Who does Yule Dochi truly love? Yule's actions and words paint a confusing picture. On one hand, he parades Judy as his second wife, making skits and even children with her. Yet he insists in court that they are merely skit makers, not lovers. On the other hand, there's May, the woman he left, the woman he apologized to, the woman he claims was the best thing to ever happen to him. His actions towards May are contradictory, pushing her towards divorce while simultaneously acknowledging her worth. Is he in love with both women, or is he just toying with their emotions? His contradictory actions and statements only muddy the waters further. It's hard to tell what's truly going on in his heart. 
Perhaps even Yule himself is confused about his feelings. But one thing's for sure, his inability to stay silent is stirring the pot. Every action has consequences. For Yule Edochi, his inability to keep quiet might cost him more than he bargains for. The ripple effects of his indiscretions are already being felt. His reputation in the industry has been marred, and his credibility is in question. The loss of respect and potential opportunities are immediate repercussions that could impact his career trajectory. On a personal level, the scandal has strained his relationship with May, and the implications of his actions on his children, particularly his daughter Daniela, cannot be overlooked. As she grows and forms her own perspective on relationships, will she view her father's actions as a blueprint or a cautionary tale? Moreover, the public nature of his saga serves as a reminder to us all about the power of words and the importance of discretion. As Yul Edochi's saga continues to unfold, it's a stark reminder that sometimes, silence truly is golden.